Hello everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. This weekend felt a bit very long for me. I'm not sure why. Uh, let me know in the comment below how was your week. Was it slow like mine or was it productive? Anyways, in the last video we worked on creating a public subnet as per the architecture diagram. Now in this video we will be creating our private subnet route table, NAT gateway and route table associations. Before we start creating our private subnet, we need to make sure our instance in private subnet will be able to access internet, pull in updates or download any packages. There are other ways you can do it like using something like instance gateway but for this video we will be using NAT gateway which is a good choice for various reasons including scaling and NAT gateway is an AWS managed service. You don't have to manage the infrastructure. In order to use NAT gateway, we need to assign uh, elastic IP to it. So head over to AWS Terraform registry and search for AWS EIP. I know the resource block name is AWS EIP, so I will not bother searching to speed things up. Let's give our Elastic IP resource name. I will name it Charter SRE Public Subnet EIP to make it more readable. We'll enable the EIP using configuration argument VPC is equal to true. So now let's create our NAT gateway. We will add another resource called AWS NAT gateway and name it Charter SRE Public Subnet NAT gateway. Inside that resource block, we need to assign what IP would be attached to the NAT gateway. To do that, we add configuration argument called allocation ID, which holds the value of the elastic IP we created above. Next, we assign the subnet ID which shows what subnet will this NAT gateway be created in. Since we want this to be on public subnet, we will add reference of our public subnet here. Okay, now let's run Terraform plan and see if our configuration worked and the resource we want is created or not. Looks like it will create Elastic IP and NAT gateway as we want. So let's go ahead and apply.
To verify whether our Rio source was created or not, let's head over to AWS console and check whether our Elastic IP was created or not, uh, which we can see it has been created. We can also see that our NAT gateway was created as well. We have added NAT gateway so that instance in private gateway can access internet to download packages. In order for that to work, we need to make sure proper route table is added to direct the traffic towards the NAT gateway. So let's go ahead and add a private route table. I will name it sharded SRE private route table. And here we will add VPC ID which points to our current VPC and also we will be adding route but unlike last time we will add a direct route destined for the internet towards the NAT gateway which is what we want in private subnet. Note that I'm not using gateway ID argument like public route table but instead I will I am using NAT gateway ID which we which we need to use if we are directing traffic towards NAT gateway. So let's run Terraform plan to verify if our changes would work. Okay, everything looks fine. Let's run Terraform apply. Looks like we add, forgot to add tags. Uh, let me quickly add a tag to private route table as well. Okay, we can see in the AWS console that our route table has been created and appropriate route were added.
just by adding the route table it is it will not be activated in the subnet we also need to associate those route table with the subnet so let's create a route table association bo for both public and private subnets to associate them with their respective route table to associate our route table to a subnet we will create a resource called aws route table association and in the configuration we add subnet id and route table id to it Let's run Terraform Plan. Okay, it looks like we had an error. Uh, let's look into it. From the error, we can see that we did not properly specify the ID of the route table. So let's update that and run Terraform Plan again. Okay, everything looks good let's apply the change okay now to verify the association if you go to aws console and route table you should see subnet associated with the table let me reload the page cool it worked all right we have successfully completed and created our private subnet nat gateway to make our instance in private subnet reach the internet in the next video we will be looking on creating actual vm on these subnets and tests please leave a comment below if you are following alone and are facing any issues do like and subscribe and join our squad so until next time have a good weekend sorry out